In this video, I'll show you how to use AI to detect AI from your text content. And the tool that I'll be using in this video is called Winston AI. And also, it is not just an AI detector, but it will also show you plagiarism and it will give you a readability score. But that being said, we've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. So here's what the Winston AI dashboard looks like. So here you can start a content scan with text. And you can also do the image scan. So let's start with the text option. So we're going to click start content scan. And then here, all you need to do is copy paste some text. So I actually whipped up a blog post using ChatGPT just a second ago. And right now we're going to head back to Winston AI. I'm going to copy paste the text here and I'm going to click scan text. And here it only took like five to 10 seconds for the AI to render the result. So here you can see the human score over here and it is giving me 0%, which basically means, and actually it is saying it out loud here, is that Winston has detected the AI as 0% human, which is exactly what it is because this is an entirely AI written piece of content. But now let's actually try it with a blog post that I have put together myself. So obviously it is not going to scan these images here, but it's going to take the text here. Let's actually copy paste this section. Let's go back to the content scan view and let's copy paste the handwritten blog post here and let's click scan text. And there we go. So now it is actually giving me a 100% human written score because it is an entirely human written blog post and Winston AI was able to detect based on these patterns that humans tend to do while writing that this blog post is entirely human written. And also, if you do these content scans, if you, for example, get, let's say, 75% score or 50% score, what you can do is you can scroll down below this page and you can see what parts are human written and what are AI generated. And obviously, this is not like 100% accurate. It will do false positives and false negatives as well. But if you hover over these text sections, you're going to see, for example, here it says human score 100. And if you have a mixed result like 50-50, it is going to show you a bunch of text sections where it says human score like 30 or 20 or 100 or whatever. So you get the point there. And then also here's what you can check on the right hand side. So you can also do the readability check here. So if you have written a blog post, you would obviously want to make it as readable as possible. And if you want to, you can go back to the text scan section and you can choose the writing feedback over here and click on scan text again. And now it is opening up the same view again, but this time you also have the writing feedback section over here. And now you're going to see, if you, for example, have used Grammarly before, you're going to see these over or strike through text pieces that the AI thinks is too hard to read and then it will give you a suggestion to make it better. And if you want to fix this, you can just hit correct and it will fix this section and hit correct again and it will scroll you down to the section where it made the fix. So for example, here it has now changed a couple of things around here and now this way you're going to get a better readability to your blog content, for example. And then also actually one thing you can do with this AI detector is you can also check for plagiarism. So for instance, let's go back to this blog post. So this one that I just showed you is a blog post that I have published almost a year ago, like eight months ago. And now if I copy paste this, if I'm some kind of a blogger who's interested in just stealing others content, I'm going to go here and I'm going to do the text scan and see if the AI detector is going to pick up on the plagiarism. So now if I tried to write this blog post as it is, just by copy pasting the content from an existing resource on the web, if I hit scan, we're actually going to see that the plagiarism score is 88%. And this is exactly the case. So the entire thing is fully plagiarized if somebody now published this exact copy of this blog post. And it's not just a score, but if you scroll down below, you can actually check the plagiarism tab over here. And then here you can go to these sections in the text where you can see that this part has been plagiarized. And also on the right hand side, you're going to see from where this text would be plagiarized from. So here it is giving me back this resource where I have just copy pasted this content from. So better pick review. And this was the one that I just showed you earlier. So it is also giving me the source and this is actually pretty accurate because I think that I tested this with a blog post that was only like one or two days of age and the 
plagiarism checker was already catching up with it so it gave it like a 80 90 percent plagiarized score even though it was just a new blog post so this actually not giving you any mercy if you're trying to steal somebody's content so it is plagiarized and that's just what it is so please don't plagiarize and also if you want to you can use this as a tool to check if somebody has plagiarized but actually one more thing worth mentioning is that if you use this for plagiarism check remember that if the piece of content has been put together already and it has been published somewhere on the internet it is obviously going to give it a fully plagiarized score because that content is already out there and that's where this report is useful so just make sure that for example if alice posts you an essay or a blog post and it gives like a 90 percent plagiarized score just make sure that Alice hasn't published that essay or blog post anywhere because that would give it the plagiarism score. So just be careful with these, uh, with these sources here. 